Hi, thank you again for tuning in. This is 50 Plus coming to you with another video on things that would benefit my 50 Plus audience and for those that are out there that are just starting out with makeup and not sure what to start out with. Um, so I'm going to just clue you in on some reasonable eyeshadows. Today will be a topic of eyeshadows. So when you want to start out with makeup, maybe it's a good idea to just start out with um one subject at a time and um, I did show a video of foundations and their consistency so that you can look in that video and maybe um, look at some reasonable um, reasonable um, foundations so this time I just want to talk about eyeshadow and then also a set of brushes um, I found out that I'm addicted I'm addicted to taking vitamins. I feel so out of my mind and obsessed. A um, few months back, maybe the beginning of last year, my doctor put me on a multivitamin, but he put me on the prenatal vitamins. And I felt really good in all that it had to offer me. And it seemed like it helped with my hair and my nails. So once I finished those, I went to a generic brand of Walmart, the uh, Woman's Day. Maybe the the uh, the one for women over 50 or something like that. I ran out of vitamins and I just feel like, oh my goodness, I need vitamins. I want vitamins and that's all I think about. I can't wait till I get out and be able to buy vitamins. The other thing that I feel, just I'm into tangerine cuties. Um, ladies and anyone else who's watching, Sometimes you just got to give your body what it asks for. I'm not even a person that likes juice. I don't care for juice. I'm not really a fruit person, although I have my picks and chooses like pomegranate, bananas. But I'm not really a fruit person. But I haven't been eating cuties for the whole month. So I can't get enough of them. So let's get right into it. I'm going to start out by showing you some reasonable eyeshadow. Um, these are trios, and then I have a two, four, six, two that are eight in it. And these are the infamous Wet n Wild. So the reason why I'm saying go for these is because these, they not only have colors that are fun and that are really pigmented and that also are practical, I mean, you know, this purple may not be practical or this blue but the white in here you can definitely use it to highlight and you also can use it for your inner tear ducts and in this one these browns you can use as transition and um, lid colors and these are very reasonable these are like three something at Walmart but at Rite Aid a lot of time buy one get the other one half off or they just simply have a sale on the whole compact so that's two and then here's two others and these are green but then you know you have people that wear the green family on a regular basis then you have people that wear neutral colors on a regular basis so it is a sense of practicality with this and I like practicality all right and then you have these two eight packs This is pretty pretty neutral, and it's called um, the um, com the comfort zone. Yeah, and so this has like greens and browns, and then this one's called um, blue blue hat me at hello. So you have the blue family, but then you have your dark colors down here that you can use for your um, eye eyeliner. You can I mean you know to go across the eye line plus also to um, have that um, smoky eye effect and in here you probably can you can use the brown for maybe to fill in your eyebrows also and you could even contour with it okay so let me get some glasses on and I'm gonna go over the names of these palettes for you because they have the nicest cutest names and this one like I said it's it's called blue had me at hello
and this one's called the comfort zone now also on these it would tell you to, what to use it for so this would be like for brow bone colors this would be for eyelid colors and this would be for the crease and then this um do do filler or something i don't know but it tells you where to apply these on your lid okay then on this one it's i dream of genie and then there you have those colors this one is i'm getting sunburned it's not open so i'm not going to open it and then this one is called sweetest cotton candy and this one is called i'm feeling retro and then this looks like something retro oh i just wanted you to know the new style is to have glitter on your thumb just kidding all right so on to the brushes now for a beginner when you're not sure what brushes to use i don't want to really refer elf brushes because to me those brushes are a hit and miss now if you're fine you want to start out there's the dollar line and then there's a the three dollar line and you can buy that at elf.com which is eyes lips and face and then you can also buy it at target and some other different stores around the different places but these are the crown brushes and these are so so cheap and it gives you a nice amount in a set and um it covers all the eyes so here you have a um, crown is um crown as in crown and I got this off a of halt look but you can go to the, uh, the website also and so you have your um, your nice firm um, foundation brush you have a good buffing brush nice and dense and soft and then you have a, a blush brush with the edge or a contour brush it comes with a kabuki too but as far as kabuki i really have high regards to the elf kabuki brush so this you can get at elf.com or either at target then you have here you have your um your shader brush eyebrow or eyeliner brush and then you have some blending brushes And if you don't want to worry about ordering stuff online, even though I highly recommend those, and if you want to Google it, you're going to find out those are very nice, affordable brushes for beginners. Then the next thing is go to your local Sephora or Walmart. And in Walmart, you're going to find the, um, the Essence of Beauty. Yeah. I love these brushes. I can tell you that these brushes have stood the time, the test of time. I bought these out of like uh, Walgreens t over 10 years ago, like in 1997. This is the foundation brush. It hasn't fallen apart on me. It, it's just, just going just as strong as if I just got it recently. Powder brush. I had more brushes. I don't know what happened to them. My granddaughters come over and they like brushes, so sometimes I let them play with them and they end up in their toy boxes. So those I found at Walgreens, but I know Walmart sells them. Now, if you want to go to Ulta and some other places, you can buy the um, Samantha Chapman. These are the real techniques. What I like about these, they have a flat bottom you can sit. They're difficult when you want to make a bead jar for them, but this is a stippling brush and this is a powder contouring brush. And I thought I had more than these. These come in different colors and different, um, you know, for different parts of the face. These are sold at Ulta and I'm not sure where else. Then you have the Eco Tools. Now, um, so soft. This is just cute. Now, this reminds me of the old fashioned brush that our dads used to um, put on their shaving cream with. This also has a flat bottom. And so this is eco friendly, obviously. And this I got at Ulta, but Eco Tools, I know it's in different places. And then the last thing was just if you want to use a Kabuki, go ahead and use the um, Elf Brush. So I do want to say that um, these are very, oh, these palettes right here, these were 
around five five dollars but at the same time I bought one got one half off so you can get them like that and I suggest if you're starting out um, these are kind of they they do um, have a tendency to have a lot of fallout but they are pigmented and they are reasonable and very versatile so I'm talking about from any part to the face you can use them for your brow your actual eyeshadow and you could contour with so that's all I hope that was helpful because I know that I want to start like I uh, mentioned before I want to start um, investing in makeup that I know costs more because of its origin and um, so until I save up some money and and um, go out and purchase those um, new products I want to start out um, informing my viewers of other things that you can start out with if you're new and plan with stuff and kind of tell you where you can go and get these things and um, so it doesn't break the bank basically you can um, try this out see how well you like it and then have something that you can um, learn with that's not expensive so that if it doesn't work for you you can either take it back to Walmart because they take back anything practically or you can just keep it and um, continue to um, um, play with it all right so I hope that was helpful for you and um, once again um, if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and follow my journey on helping my um, 50 plus community um, with tips and tricks on um, health and beauty and this is a free um, web, it's, it's free to subscribe so you don't you're not charged anything because I had um, some people that were concerned about how much is it going to cost me it's not going to cost you anything to subscribe and then you can thumbs up and you can leave comments and the comments can be anything from you know what you didn't understand or it, just anything so if I can't answer it other viewers are reading the comments and they would be able to answer in that same comment so we're going to be a community that we are learning together I am NOT an expert I just thoroughly enjoy makeup and health and beauty products so I want to say to my 50 plus if you're not drinking water and especially with the flu and everything going around you need to stay hydrated and doesn't hurt to take in a, a multivitamin so until next time I love you for viewing Good night.